Hello everybody, video here for you today. It's Coach Deep and Zig back and this is episode 2 of Deep Dives. It's for April 13th, 2024. Hey everybody. Hey Zig. Hope you all have a good Saturday. Absolutely, absolutely. And thanks for the views on the looks back and ahead that we put out yesterday and Zig oh, yeah, was kind fun. enough to guest on that yeah, and so that again, I think. yep and zig has maps and stuff for us today so hey, very exciting let's look at some drawings on oak island how about that all right uh, hey that uh, that island looks like an elephant that island does look like an elephant right? it has a little little small trunk you know or is that an average trunk but uh yeah so you guys probably recognize this place, full of intrigue and mystery. Mm -hmm. And wonder. And, uh, as you know, or may not know, if you don't know, I have uh, 31 years experience with AutoCAD. I did not uh, know that. I've been drafting since high school and have worked for a number of engineering firms and surveying companies throughout the years. I'm currently a estimator for a commercial construction company. I sit and do look at drawings and do takeoffs and manage manpower and projects and all kinds of good stuff. So, uh, but in my free time, when I like to pursue my hobbies, which are also include watching lots of Netflix and Hulu and catching up on all the cool shows that are out, like The Curse of Oak Island, uh, I like to. Well, actually, I mean, kind of Jay Free, Jeff Freeman, he's the one that kind of inspired me. His little podcast he's got, he was posting the images, and I'm a very visual person like most people are. I like to see things and know where things are and like to be able to relate things, so even if they're not there anymore. So I started doing a little compilation drawing and tied it to GPS and pretty much have gone into Google Maps and Google Earth and copying an outline of what we have at Oak Island and you know I mean I'm not going to claim that I'm 100% accurate I'm not 100% accurate at anything I think that for the most part I would I would give myself somewhere in the 90 92 94% range that's still passing yeah I mean you know it's still an it's A, still a you know? right today it is yes back in my day you had to get a was it was a 94 days. first and then it went that's down to a 92 and then after my day, now a 70 is A, I think. This is why, believe it or not, in high school, someone even as smart as people claim I am had a C average. So, but I didn't like homework. That was my problem. Same. I could pass tests, pre-tests, quizzes. I'd pass them 100%. I wouldn't do final projects, and I barely did homework. Mm -hmm. I grew up from a little bit of that. But you can't have regrets in life. You just have to move forward. Correct. Uh, so anyways, uh, after, let's see, years and years of doing this, I thought it'd be cool to make a map of Oak Island and start figuring out where some of these things are. So you can kind of see what I've got here. This is definitely not all that's on. I've, I just kind of like to visualize things at times. I've been here recently, was working on just this morning just kind of trying to locate where the those rock structures are that are for the memorial garden around the garden shaft because uh, what was it? I think Friday I ended up posting these four locations which came from the little shadings on the map that Jeff shared on Wednesday and I think those are points of interest for future drillings I don't have the boreholes on right now just because it kind of clutters up the drawing I want everybody to see it a little clearer uh, you can see the head and shaft here built back in 1937 chapel shaft came previous to that he was they're kind of all looking for same thing everybody else is that money pit area and I think you see this you see the blue line there steve I just yes okay well that that is supposedly one of the original money pit locations so hmm. and I, I think it was season one they talked about the golden triangle and I believe that golden triangle comes from the fact that all the surveys don't quite match relationship-wise, so they kind of tried to triangulate the area to work in. 
and for the most part right here this is So for for the geographically impaired of us, so that the the head and um, and chapel area right there is right. that's not that far. That's just a few feet from the or not more than a few, but from the garden shaft. Yep. So this little and the baby right. blob, and so what? Maybe what five times seven? Forty feet. See, I can use my distance measurement. Oh, yeah. So he's got the tools. Got the tools, got the talent. Uh, 48 feet from um, roughly right. this point of hidden shaft to that white dot right there. So, so yeah, real close. I mean, all of this is, you know, I think the total grid right. here is 180 feet. Right. Everybody was real close the whole time. Well, you look at just all the holes that are there. The show yeah. was, yeah. Circles is a borehole. And right. I'm not even showing the corkscrews that they make. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just, and like, you, so that we were just talking about those shaded areas up here. This right. is those four shaded areas. And then you can see the white circles with the white mm -hmm. font here. Those are the proposed locations that just came off of what was uh, episode 22, I believe. Just didn't go north enough, I guess. Oh, and the ones that the ones that did, I guess they dug in the wrong spot and they didn't get any didn't get any hits or anything like that, and so it became in vogue to go lower, I guess, more no, south. Let me, let, me throw, let me throw this at you. Why don't you do that? We'll catch. Okay. So that blue box that I talked about being one of the original money pit locations. If I was to rotate that box seven degrees, guess where it would fall at? Right in the. Oh. Uh, so, I mean, a lot of people don't talk about that, but yeah. I think I mentioned it in our first diving deeper, deep dives video that there was a, and I still haven't found the owner of this document, and that's why I don't show it a lot, and I don't share it a lot, because, again, I like to give props where mm -hmm. props are due, so. If um, if you made it, uh, CoachSteveMoney at gmail.com, let me know, and I'll, I'll give you credit in the comments. Yeah, and here, I'll bring it up just so everybody can yeah. see what it is. And thank you for watching, if you are. Thank yeah, you. And thanks for watching the show. And so <laughs> that's this image right here. So you can see that it's a nice, similar outline. I mean, there's obviously some erosion that's occurred. Different things have happened over the years. But this has a lot of the major... And this was one of the first images I came across that kind of gave me the same idea. I was like, oh, well, somebody's trying to do what I want to do. Let me, let me see where all this relates to each other. And so... You know, I kind of established the grid and figured out where the grid was. And then I brought this image in and then started, and I was like, oh, wow. And then I didn't even know what PST at the time was. And that was just apparently the pirate stone piles, the triangles, the Up, parents. Upper right there, uh, the stone triangle. Cursor, yeah, this, oh, this here? Yeah, yeah that does look stone like triangle. triangle. Absolutely right, yes. And I don't know, I zoom in here. I can or a boat. Right. That's my stone triangle. Yeah. Where my stone triangle is located. Right. Yes, right. So that does look like the stone triangle. And it also has the uh, magnetic north and north, mm -hmm. which I believe that 21 degrees. Oh, no, it's like it. It may be more like 23 now. I can't remember exactly. Uh, but you can see he had a lot of the information that, like, I didn't even know what this dot was over here where I'm circling right here. That That's, you know, the rose stone. Um, South Anchor, the Swamp Stone, the Cairns, Nolan's Cross is on here. Uh, and then he's got all these other points out here on the beach. It just makes me wonder, are there, were there boulders out here at one time? Where did those orientations come from? But again, when I showed this originally, see this little rectangle area here that says WL and this says WR? This is EL and ER. Mm -hmm. So FP represents money pit. WT was a stone triangle. But this is the, when I was originally, I don't know, this has been 
four months, five months, six months ago, I don't remember when, but he was the one that was talking about the rotation of the seven degrees difference. So you can see that that oh, yeah. square rect or that rectangle right here yeah. and the geometry inside of it is basically a duplicate up here at seven degrees rotation, which somehow matches this A, B, C, D line right here. Uh, anyways, I'm still trying to confirm and yeah. check all that. And again, I don't even recall who the right. owner of this image is. I got it so early on, I wasn't even thinking about, oh, I need to keep a bibliography of who I'm capturing images from and what days I'm getting them and all that stuff. So, but now, now you know. <clears throat> now you know. Now is half you're jealous, right. 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 And so, again, the point is any anybody, I mean, it's such a it's such a small area. The, that whole money pit area is so small that anybody that was digging was within 100 feet of the baby blob. Yeah, right. 45 yeah. feet. I mean, all of yeah. them were within 50 to 100 feet of the baby blob. Right. The rest of those. Let me turn this I took it up to 100 to give people that were doing outskirt stuff uh, credit as well, though. But like for for example, uh, 10x, which yeah, yeah, 10X, we happen to find on uh, yeah, and I'm still Google Maps. Little, uh, yeah, we're, uh -huh. we're not 100 percent about this location yet. Proximate though, we think we're close. Excuse me, we right. think we're close. Uh, but yeah, even that. I mean, okay, so this blue diameter right here, that is 100 foot. So yeah, you can see that. Anywhere in this area was 150 feet from, so 100 feet, yeah, may very well get close to 10 inch. Even they would have been really close. Mm -hmm. Not that so far. Hop, skipping, and jump away. Uh, so I was going to show you RF1, H8. Uh, there's C1, which isn't actually C1. We talked about that earlier. It's actually like, I think they would call it nowadays, they'd call it CD4. But that is the one that Charles Bur uh, Barkhouse. Yes. Like, when they were picking case on locations, mm -hmm. and they found the glints and the glimmers of gold, and but obviously it was right smack dab in the middle of the Dunfield stuff. So mm -hmm. I don't remember how deep that was when they found that. But... Do you have a Vanti one on this, which they uh, didn't give the grid they number. Give the number? But I think when you and I were talking about, about right that, there, it, yeah, it's E point five N fourteen point five right here. Okay. Because that would make and sense. that wasn't on there before you added that, right? Correct. Okay. That's the reason the reason it's white and white is because that's the proposed location from episode twenty two. Right. And then today I just located these stones, and I was like, I want to see what that looks like together. So now they've probably removed, you know, what this part of the stone work right here. Yeah, and, like and almost that whole place. side, I think. Yeah, it's here at some point. I'm probably going to put some sort of reference line that shows what they've excavated out here. So. Because if they're wanting to get to this IN 12.5, mm -hmm. they're also going to have to take out some over here. So, bye-bye gardens on the left side. They'll build a different women's memorial. Yeah, you said that. They will take care of it. <laughs> they will take care of it. But, yeah. I mean, they they, really if they had any idea, I don't think they wouldn't have put that on there. Because you wouldn't build on top of it. You also wouldn't put your driveway on it if you're Fred Nolan and... <laughs> And there was something uh, very you exciting. Build outbuilding right on top of that's right. Uh, Daff, if you knew that, yeah. if you knew that Daff was there, so, right? Yeah. It's hindsight twenty twenty. So Blue Square is on Nolan's property. That's mm -hmm. the little outbuilding there next to his the parking that everybody parks at. So yeah, yeah. it looks like pretty much Prometheus's guys are all parked right on top of Daff. Yeah. And then I don't. Oh yeah, I did this the other day just to make it a little easier. I put uh, a second layer. Yeah, hey, that looks like a ship in the swamp. <laughs> the Kabbalah. That's like your favorite line. I swear. I love it. Yes, it is. It looks like a well, because you have it on everything, and so I do. I leave it up because it's just. It's still. It's again. It's floating. I don't. Know there's exactly that. I'm, there's I'm something there, that. obviously. Yeah, I, I, I'm close, you know. And Even if it's all decayed and it's just, it's just like, turned to all to mush in there, the outline of it is still there. Yeah. Uh, let me, hold on, let me turn this on real quick. Um, I've got a layer called Mystery Line. 
Oh, mystery. Where, where I just kind of do some of my figurings at. And I took, a, I took a line and I ran it from Kone down through Victory. Because nobody's really run lines that way. Everybody's kind of going, oh, let's go this way, let's go this way, let's go this way. So I was like, well, what happens this way? And the reason it spawned that is because it happens this way. Uh, it's a magnetometer. Uh, and it's not the image. These are the lines that I drew over the image, just so that it a little clearer to see <clears throat> but each of these white circles right here those are ground disturbances so work has been done here 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 and like high levels of disturbance like purple is one of the highest white is the highest level of disturbed ground so there was a lot of work done right there a lot of earth move right there if, if I'm understanding that science right, if I'm understanding that conductivity or and the and the disturbance of the earth, and yeah, I think you are. You... If, it, if it's ground that's never been touched, it's it's in the red, which is kind of this whole area that I'm following my cursor through right here. It's Sounds kind of logical to me. So you talked me into it. Okay, good. Moving on then, sold. So anyway, my thought is, what are those areas? Because I don't really, I've never been on the island. This is all. In my imagination, for the most part, uh, could that be something? I mean, you and I talk all Certainly. the time. There's no thing as a coincidence. So yeah, gives rule line, thirty nine. Lines pass through everything else to get to the money pit. I was like, yeah. So, anyways, that's me speculating, which is fun to do when you have all these lines to be able to look right. at. A lot of lot of work done for some reason uh, yeah, on the island. Right. Different, different, like different um, centuries, multiple different centuries. Multi generational mm -hmm. visits. And just, I mean, you can just see, so like cyan is one of the higher colors of worked earth. And that's pretty much everywhere that Dave Blankenship, Dan Blankenship, the Oak Island Interpretive Center, the mm -hmm. Money War Room. All the little trailers and stuff that are there from Prometheus and all the other people that live and stay and work there. Uh, anyway, you can get lost in this stuff really easy. So you gotta, gotta I'll turn this off real quick. Turn mystery back off real quick. If you haven't seen this season or recent seasons or enough of it to know what's going on in that whole area there to the, can you slide it over a little bit more to the left there? All those lines right there, that is Nolan's cross, as you can see in the center of that, but that is the tree of life right there. So that's, that's it's Nolan's cross formation, but it's also... The Tree of Life, and there have been, I don't know how many they check, but in a lot of those points, they have found large boulders there. Cone A, Cone C, mm -hmm. there's one on the beach. Cone B, there's one still there. Right. The headstone was blown up with dynamite. Uh, what, they found one at Beauty. Right. Uh, and Cone E is on this coming Tuesday's they episode. They're going to look that up, lift that up. Coney Island. Let's go yeah. to Coney Island, mm -hmm. you know, so. What the island reference of that is, I mean, I get the Coney Island. Let's go get a Coney dog from Coney Island, but. Right. I wonder what the island part is in reference to this other than. Because of Oak Island? Yeah, I guess. that's. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to be more. Funny. Deep? Yeah, deep. I was trying to. I don't be know the, I don't know episode titles. I don't know that they go for deep. I think they go more for punny. It's witty and punny. Yes, yeah. That's right. Yeah. I guess I was trying to be wittier. Right. All right. Yeah. So, uh, when what you said this the ship, you know. Yeah. Hey, little, man, uh, that looks like a ship. Over, uh, all these little purple dots are stones in the swamp that keep showing up. So I've used them. I'm using them as reference points. I mean, to me, anything that's geographically located can be used as a reference point later. So. 
Yeah, and now when you when you say stones over by the ship shaped anomaly, um, are you saying like bol- are those boulders as big as the one that they found over by the road? That big, just yeah. That big. Oh, okay. They can all the dots on here are the same size. I don't really have like a relationship of how big the stone is. Right. Like That's why I ask about that. Or just a or just a tag point in the center of what I would think is the center of that stone. And, I don't know, was it episode one they found these stones over here and they said they thought it was an arrow pointing to the, pointing to something? Oh. Uh, you can go back and watch. Yeah, I remember, there. yeah, I remember that now. Yeah. Now that you mention it, yeah, because they were flying overhead. Yeah, Peter Amundsen, and yeah, exactly, they were in the plane doing an overhead survey. And, right. And I think it was Marty even that looked down and was like, are those, what are those stones? Those look like an arrow or something. And it was pointing the to the eye, maybe? Yeah, I can't remember what it said it was pointing to. Maybe it was to Mercy, even. Oh, know. yeah, could be. Maybe it was to Mercy. Uh, I don't know that these are where they were when they found them. These may be where they moved. Looked them. underneath them? Any, anything them could over. happen. Yeah. Right, where they rolled them over. Right. Uh, so same thing with, uh, this is the Stone Road. And, and forgive me, but it's just the blue outline. I mean, that's I'm not going to go and draw every stone that's in there, but... I did locate four that I really appreciate because of their arrangement, and they've they've stayed that way. They're not, you know, nobody nobody has messed with them. So they're another good reference point for me. And then there's of course one here, and there's I don't I don't I think that one's gone now. And then this little limit line right here was kind of wow, that's probably been four weeks ago when they were digging right there along the road. Mm-hmm. And I I could turn on some images. I'm not going to waste your time with that, but I could turn on the images that. Ah, oh, shoot, I'll waste your time with it. <laughs> it's, uh, so I've got... I don't, think, I don't think clarity is a waste of time, especially on when you're doing a deep dive. And we realize that this is not going to be for, you know, every, not everybody's going to watch every single second of this, uh, especially if you're just a casual fan. But if you want to get uh, really nerdy about something, um, like that's what this is, stream is for. That's right, that's right. We like to do these kind of things. I yep. mean, this is fun to me. So, right. and so that not only uses SS, my skills, but uses my brain and uh, SS Swamp Stone. The Swamp Stone that was the one they did, found this year. Correct. In and the swamp. Super, this is where it was. I have another image that I located it from. So now you can kind of get an idea. This is a limit of excavation, I guess, is what I'm calling that line. That's where Billy's done digging and has gone deep and for water to show. And again, that's happened here as well. So there's Billy's excavator right there even in the image. And I was like, yeah. when I first looked at this, I was like, what is that under the water? And it's not. It's the reflection of his arm of his excavator on the water. Oh. So there's the bucket of the excavator. The arm come up and then comes back down to the excavator. But that's, that's the reflection All in right. the water. So geek out on that and i don't uh yeah there was a little bit of offset in this image difference you can see my difference in stones again i don't i don't like to attribute that to that's google images move mm-hmm. the word it's on a wobble so Indeed. not everything is always where it is even positionally so um, images from the show they can be at different angles not you know not directly overhead that kind of again, thing I, this one looks pretty close, though, to maybe right directly overhead, almost. Dot to dot theory. If I'm within six feet, I'm probably really, really good close. Yes, so, six is acceptable. That's probably here. I can tell you. That's center. Uh, four feet. Four point one nine feet. So, I'll call that good. And you see my little outline. I like to track this dirt pile from time to time. These are the three stones I use for references over here in the trees uh, next to this other little dirt pile. <clears throat> this uh, SA is it's not really a locked-in point. It's not even a found stone. They call it the Southern Anchor. It relates to Zena Halpern's map. But it is used geometrically with other items on the island. Uh, in fact, let's see, I'll give Dot to Dot his props. So, are you familiar with the 
can't think of the name of it. Sorry, give me just a second. Talk, Steve. Oh, um, I don't know what you're you're talking about. I might try to help you. Oh, the Ontiora schematic. That's that's what it is. It's um, it's a document that was found that they believe is it's called the Vault Theory. Uh, they believe there's an entrance. Yes. There's a tra- trap door here at ENF or the hole under the trap. This also kind of relates back to Zena Halpern's map, Valve, the Valve D. Mm-hmm. Uh, vault entrance G, Oak entrance A, the 522 entrance B, La Hemp, which is C. Uh, there's the pine, the pine tar pit. Uh, so I have a layer in here. Let me turn it up a bit. Uh, reference. That's the so that yellow line that just popped up. That's kind of like the supposed path of this vault system, including the stone triangle and including the flood flood tunnels. And let me turn this document. So that is the Ontaria, Ontaria, Ontaria document. I yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, if apparent the story goes is that it was split into eight pieces, and then somehow those eight pieces were all found and pieced together. And then you can see this is this is actually flipped 180 degrees to the way the document looks. But this is the relationship to it on the island. And you can see I've kind of scaled it between points. So this is the valve. This is supposed to be an entrance, which would be roughly this area here. This would be the vault. And this is a diagram of what they consider the vault to be. Which, interestingly enough, puts it right below CE, Foundation, Beauty. Could that be coincidence? We'll find out. We'll find out. No such thing as a coincidence. No such thing as a coincidence. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, is this is this actually the concrete encased vault that was lifted above floodplain waters, still able to be flooded, still able to be accessed dryly? You know, I don't know. You can... Spend time. Come back to the video. Watch it a few times. Right. How did that work? Did, yeah. That's a um, that a system where it would block the water so you could yes, access right. it. Yeah. Basically, you'd come over here and you'd turn this valve, this valve, yeah. and that valve would close this flood or it would open this entrance tunnel, and at the same time you would. There's another valve here at La Hump. And the hump relates back to Zena Halpern's map with mm-hmm. the north, south, east, west, and the west, east, and the two boats on it. I have another image in here for that. But anyways, it also relates to this point on the Ontario document, or supposedly, I'm, I'm, this is all still theoretical. So, uh, And then that would be another valve that shuts off the flood tunnels. because, And then in this whole theory is that the money pit was a decoy and that when you got to the 90 foot stone and found that pulled that up that opened the flood the drain drain right. and then caused the money pit to flood and then people would spend years and they were like fooled you then, yeah and then people would go back and pump it out drill again and put a head and shaft in a chapel shaft right. and the rest dolls would try and everybody would try so but what if what if there's nothing there and it's all the way over here? So, you know, obviously that's another reason for why there have to be multiple X's in multiple locations. Right. Could be stuff in both places as well. Like not necessarily where the money pit was, but definitely the baby blob. Science says yes. Yeah, I mean, right. You know, there's gold and silver in the water, right? Mm-hmm. And right. The only way that happens is for water to flow past silver and gold over an extended a period of time yes. to essentially chip away at the gold? Uh, something. 
doesn't dissolve, so it right. fragments and particulates right. into the water somehow. My, microscopic. Yeah, I mean, because, yeah, the levels Erosion, are yeah. part per million, so, right. And then I get, there's a lot of people out there that don't believe that because, well, you could probably, can you test any water and find gold and silver and lead and mercury and arsenic and all those kind of things you would think you would think the scientists would know i'm so i'm gonna lean, I'm gonna right. lean to the knowledge of science. yeah but um science is right until it's proven wrong so correct but anyway that's 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 a good theory right there and again just want to see what the bigger picture is i try mm -hmm. to i try to include everything i'm not I don't try to stay partial to one theory or the other. I'm trying to look at them all. Because it's a big island. So I don't... Oh, yeah, let me, let me, let me mention this. So the reason I've got these little circles, dots on this is apparently there's... So there's also stone right here, and it has a ring bolt in it. And there was a ring bolt in one of the stones that was at this cairn location. And then there was a stone, and this is, you would think that's midpoint between those two points, but it's actually the intersection of the midpoint of these two lines, these two points, through the, this, oh, hold on, watch. Watch this. Hold my beer and watch this. <laughs> He go through the rings to for to get yeah, a sight line on something. Well, you know, and I think it's okay. So I think Gaspani says this was twelve seventeen when the Nolans cross stones were to have been established and set, and the date on the cairns was twelve fifty. So I don't know. I mean, you usually use a ring bolt if you're trying to like use it as a leverage point to pull stuff with. So what were they doing? Yeah. Was it? some of these other stone locations you know it's kind of top of the hill so also also both but, could be both yeah, drag, multiple drag uses in, here's your center anchor point at the top mm -hmm. of the hill use it for 360 mm -hmm. degree pulling around the island I, I, yeah i mean any one of it so but yeah i think there supposedly were three ring bolts at these locations one here here Let's see, I was going to say something, and it wasn't something. Oh, yeah, well, going back to this. So you can see my outline of the Swamp Road. I try to do these at, like, limits of excavation. So I know I have another image in here where Billy has excavated when they were looking in the area here for the whatever that structure is that they found there. And I've got, I've got to do work here. I've... I've kind of been neglecting the swamp in a way. Don't so neglect the, the swamp. Well, I mean, the swamp road's cool, but... It's a big island. And there's a mercy stone and a beauty stone and a foundation right. stone to look at. Those they they got to them. Good. Yeah, they, they're, they're working on it. <clears throat> yeah. One season we'll get there. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, there's that's kind of how I'm coming up with this stuff. I'm taking these images and I'm scaling them to the correct visual scale and just kind of trans transposing some of that information into a CAD environment so I can layer it and turn it on and off and see all the nice relationships. Uh, I don't think, I don't know if there's a map out there that anybody can look at right now that has all this information on it in one place. So, um, probably not. Yeah. I, I, you know, I just told my folks, I said, I think I have the most compiled map of Oak Island besides Steve Guptill. I wouldn't well, surprise me. I wouldn't surprise Dotson, me. He's got his on Earth. So. You gotta be a super nerd. You gotta have the time yeah, to do it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a old registered copy of the software because yep. it's not cheap either. Yeah. I was blessed by a boss and an employer who Hashtag blessed. gifted me with it. He knew I was gifted Excellent. with it, so he me with it. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, flood tunnels, 
Well, proposed flood tunnels, mm -hmm. and again, those came from, I just like the show. Right, and that's the, that's the tunnel as yeah, well, no, or no, supposedly no. going to the baby blob, that's the same line on that? Okay, no, so the yellow here, Yeah. that is the proposed, or the tunnel where we found the seven foot piece of wood at DM 25.4. Yeah. That yellow represents that yellow tunnel that they show on the graphic. Right. right on. But this is flood tunnel from a survey map from like 1947. It's on the same line. You know, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's it's really close, right? And and again, guess mm -hmm. what this guess what this difference is right here? Guess what that angle is? What is it? Well, I'll show you. So if I click here. It's not a very uh, five degrees. High one, yeah. Yeah, so again, really, really close to that seven degree range, and I don't know. That starts to make me think that maybe tunnel and a flood tunnel, um, two uses. Used it for a tunnel, and then directed water into it, or tunnel and a flood tunnel right next to each other. Or or let me let me throw this one at you. So let me turn catch this it again. Layer. Nice throw. Yeah, good catch. Thanks. Let me uh, let me throw this reference on for you. This is this is the solution channel from, and I'll show you the image too. So you can see where I got my sure. So, uh, that's actually not it, sorry, that's, that is his, but that's not it. Have you, ever, have you ever put all the different layers up at the same time? Here I bet it's very confusing. I'll do it right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, I actually do have a... Uh, sorry for the people that were getting serious about, about yeah, this yeah, stuff, because yeah. I just, I'll, I just I'll, think, I know he's we'll got go tons of layers. Yeah, and you don't see them because I'm not sharing that window, but I have 331 layers. That's a lot of layers. That's a lot of layers. a lot of layers. It's a lot. Uh, let, me, let me do that now. Save the now. Save state. And then when I do the restore, uh, turn all on. Taurus uh, mistakenly called that Cygnus in a video recently. Uh, a commenter was nice enough to point that out for me. Oh, that, that's Taurus? Yeah, because I, because they had been talking about Cygnus and the Taurus thing just happened to come up as, as, as shown in a previous episode and I just said Cygnus because uh, oh, they had been talking off. about it. Blow up my laptop here. Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah. So let me do a zoom extents because you can see I. Have oh, so some of yeah. So you won't. I'm, I'm out in the. Some world. layers you put on there. Some of them won't. Uh, you won't be able to see all of them at the yeah, same we'll, time. We'll, you won't we'll, be able to see points from all of them. You don't have to reload the images every time too, so it, it makes ah, the drawing. I got you. I got you. Each of those images kind of oh. an extra an external reference. So. And you want to have the world so you can see the line hey, from I there the to chat. what is the one with the flag? Okay, so the one with the flag is the Treaty of Tresales. It was like 1474. The Spanish and the Portuguese decided to divide the, the earth longitudinally. So at 46 degrees, oh. 30 minutes west they drew a line and said the Spanish get everything to the west of that line and yeah. the Portuguese get everything to the east of that line. Which well, they forgot about there's, there was other countries at the time, but I guess they yeah, weren't well, worried about that. The agreement was that they couldn't overtake a country that already had a Christian leader. Oh. So well, if it was a country that had already been established with a Christian leader, they weren't allowed to overthrow it or overtake it. it was All right. Interesting. 
Anyway, look it up. Go Google it. Uh, Treaty of... Oh, I knew you were going to ask this. <laughs> Yeah, I'd never heard of that. I don't have it handy. I'll find okay. it out and I'll put it. I'll post a comment in the okay. video. So. All right. Uh, but yeah, so I was I was trying to establish where that forty six thirty line was, and then okay. so that's kind of what drove those. All right. Images. I knew there was a reason. Yeah, but anyway, that's uh, and then again, like you were saying, it gets very cluttered and mm -hmm. crazy because even back, what was that like? Two seasons ago, they were talking about when Morris made this map, and it was the the A's, wasn't it? The, I can't, I don't know. I'm failing. But it was, uh, I think Scott Clark came on and said, oh, if you just put a circle on this A and this A and this A. Oh, right, right, right. You put one on this A and you draw a circle through them, and then the compass rows also. Yes. That points to the money pit as well. Yeah. Well, just I coincidence, guess, though. I wanted to see where... <laughs> I drew, I drew a Morris line on the Morris map. Yeah, you can see it's actually... It's slowing way down because it's taking so long to load the images. Oh, yeah, so there you go. So that's a very good view of... Oh, look, there's Jeremy Church's stuff. Oh, mm -hmm. look, there's the Celestial map. Oh, look, there's Eva Halpin. Oh, yeah, okay, so... And then, oh, look, Side Sands go up. Sonar. Oh, look, Virgo. Oh, look, a cross-section. That's, that's a lot of that's a lot analysis, of, that's a lot scans. Of I mean, that's a lot of work <laughs> done by the people on the island and then you compiling it as well. A lot of work. It's a lot of compilation. It definitely is. And I'm, all this has been done since the 28th of December last year. So. Busy. My uh, boy's been busy. I'm busy. Throw a movie on and just get into your work, man. So, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, let me go Sorry for that diversion. I was just just curious about it. I knew I knew it would look like that when you put all the uh, images on it. And the beauty of this is is that I can just go. Please restore these layers. Don't yell at me for a second. Taurus again? Yeah. And... Oh, sorry, bear with me. It's just loading all the images. Um... Yeah, that's my bad. No, you're good. Everybody can, so there we are. can blame this on me. Uh, let me turn this one off and I'll bring up a different one. Show. Yes, Jeremy Church is speaking of him. Uh, yeah, Fine Jeremy. presentations on the JFree 906 podcast. Uh, if you just search JFree and 906 and Jeremy Church, they'll come up for you. And very interesting stuff that he did. Way more in depth than you know. They they just show like all the war room meetings and all when the scientists explain stuff. They cut it down so much. They're making a TV show, but if you're a nerd like us, you want to hear every single word of it. And so uh, Jeremy Church's uh, presentation was fabulous on there. He's been on there two, three, th three times now, right? Uh, he was on, yeah, once early on, and then, no, it was only twice. He came on for the first part, which was the Money Pit area, and mm -hmm. then he came on for the second part, which yeah. was the Swamp area. Yeah. And I, 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 I thought he was going to do a third one and talk about the, the long other EMP, EMF, electromagnetic that they did in the boat where Tony Sampson pushed him around in the boat. Yeah. But I may be wrong. Again, it's known to happen. Right. So again, highly recommend J Free uh, Nine Hundred Six Podcast because they actually get they get people that have been on the show. Uh, Jamie Kuba uh, is almost a regular now on there. Right. 
yeah, Jamie is definitely become a regular. Mm-hmm. And I think even going back to what we were talking about before about multiple locations of treasure, even she mentioned that, that if it was, say if it was books that you were trying to keep, you wouldn't want those in a wet, flooded environment. You want to keep them dry and humidified at least or whatever in some sort of way. But That's a good you point. You wouldn't worry about books and literature as you would about gold or silver. Right. Kind of thing. You wouldn't you, know, you wouldn't trust crazy. concrete and blue clay to keep your um, sacred manuscripts safe. I wouldn't think. I mean, or would you? Because they've been they were doing it for thousands of years. I guess, yeah. I guess yeah, could I mean, be. Why, why, they broke. Don't fix well, it. Well, yeah. Well, you know that that probably that ship in the swamp has sailed probably on that because so much drilling, so much uh, flooding. So you just you you got to expect it almost. If there's manuscripts down there, they may not be salvageable. Correct. Okay, so I wanted we were talking about the Cairns and where I located and how I yes. got that one. Yes. Sorry, I got off on track. Right. I got so you off on track. I'm sorry about that. This is a layer that I keep off most of the time, just because it was a it was reference lines for me to locate some certain things but I call it my Cairn check layer because that's kind of what I used for... So you can see that Mm -hmm. the relationships are North Anchor to Code B is kind of establishing that leg of the Cairns. Professor Gaspani said there's several alignments with the Cairns. And I would believe that to be true. Yes. Like I was saying earlier, uh, let me turn this layer. They weren't. They weren't out there going. Uh, where you want to put this stone? Oh, it looked good right here. <laughs> they had a specific reason for it to be in a specific place. I mean, even with today's equipment, you wouldn't. You wouldn't just haphazardly do all the work that was done. And it was much more difficult back then. Right. I mean, now you got excavators and mm-hmm. trucks and trucks and all kinds of stuff, but they were doing it all with oxen and ring bolts and I chains hand. and yeah. rope, hemp, mm-hmm. hemp rope or whatever. So, yeah. Uh, we were talking about headstone and kind of astrologically. I don't know if you can read. Right. That's uh, headstone. Is that where the uh, the intersection line of Nolan's cross Correct. of the arms yes. and the body of it, I guess is what it's called. I always call them the axis because it's this is an axis, yeah. yeah. And that's the main, the main True. axis, so the cross axis and the main axis. Mm-hmm. Um, it gets a little cluttered here, but uh, a little back. So Christopher Morford, who is the other co-author of the Jerusalem Files, yep. along with Corey and Mole, uh, the Jerusalem Files dot com. Um, great book. I still plan on doing a review. Sorry, Chris, I just haven't gotten to it yet. I want to make sure I give you the best of my wording I was just like I was great uh, so he did this layout with the stars and said that on May 18th 1291 which actually coincided with the fall of Acres which was a castle that the Templars owned in France I believe that was taken over by the Moors uh, if you're on the 59 East Tangent, if you were standing at the headstone and you looked to your left shoulder, you would see Aquarius in the sky. If you were standing there and looked to your right shoulder, you would see Leo in the sky. If you look straight ahead at the 30 degrees northeast bearing, or the 59, 33, 21, you mm-hmm. would see Taurus in front of you. If you looked behind you, you would see Scorpio behind you. So, Coincidence. Yeah, right. I mean, with those positionings being so tied into Nolan's Cross. Like, they call it the headstone for a reason. Yeah, it looked like a head, but they may mm-hmm. have been onto something. It may have actually been like the starting point for a lot of... Because you could also do the same thing if you go in on a CD. If you were to look through CB at that same date, you would also see... Was that Alphard? If you went to CE and looked through CB alignment, you would see Bellatrix... So all on the same day, all these constellations are obviously in the sky. That's a hell of an alignment, if you ask me. 
I mean, that's yes. one, two, three, four, right. five, six, seven, seven axis of alignment. Somewhere around three, you have to say, well, that's not a coincidence. <laughs> you know, give it three, okay, you got very lucky doing that by accident. But once it gets into four or five and up to seven or eight. I mean, even even baseball players only hit, like, you know, 300%. You're a great baseball right. player. Right. So. Anyhow. So, they, yeah. hey, here's my art. Do you like my yeah. art? It's right. a kind of a compilation of everyone else. Pretty cool. Life. Yep. Yeah, and, you know, it's real interesting. It just makes you scratch your head and go, hmm. what, were they up to? what were they doing? What were they doing? They were up to some stuff is what they were doing. And they like to play with lines, that's for sure. They loved angles and measurements. Maybe one and, day they'll um, they'll f- compute how long, you know, like how many men it would have taken, to how many years to do each like individual thing and all together maybe they'll do that like they like they computed it for the pyramids or for the great oh, pyramid well, anyway saying you know own timeline. yeah that's yeah. Cool. yeah so and so got got here on this day and right this is when kirk and trova arrived and yeah yeah sure sure this is when zig started making his map and <laughs> I don't know if they'll get in all that, but they'll be they'll be talking about the actual island work. This is when Steve Guptill and Zig collaborated, and Steve invited Zig to the island and oh. said, "Zig, come look at my data, and let's share." That might have been a dream of yours. Oh, am I? Oh, I thought I was sleeping. No, I thought it's I was right. in the dream. Man. It's all right. I'm living the dream. I'm sure. I'm sure you and Steve Guptill would be best buds. Oh my God, we'd be best friends for sure. <laughs> we would hang out and and survey things all the time. So Absolutely. Uh, so, getting back to this, so also on Christopher Morford's map, he mentioned that at radius 1291, which just happens to be the year 1291, May 18th. Coincidence. 1291, yeah, is that another coincidence? I mean, let's go 1291 feet. 45 degrees, and what will we hit? Uh, really close to right here. Imagine that. Yeah. That'd be your I'm garden talking. shaft. When Steve showed the survey point, he was actually kind of right here. I never I never tied that point in because I was like, again, here I am. I'm within 8 to 10 feet of it. Right. And you're calling that a win. <clears throat> I'll, call that, I'll call that a win. Any yep. day. But I wanted you to see the green lines because the green lines are based on other survey points and data, other drilled stone locations, the stone triangle, the southern anchor, uh, CD2. Oh, that's the point of 45. So, C stands for cone, by the way, in case you didn't know that. Cone A, cone B. Cone A, cone B, cone C, cone D. And then Coney. So yes. This is where we're gonna be. Coney Island will be right there. Yeah, and let me, let me see something here. On Tuesday night. I believe I know which one it is. Done back in October, probably. Process is remembering what you named everything. There's names on there. Yes, uh, Tiferet. There are the uh, names of that particular point in the Tree of Life. Correct, Amundo. Uh, and then let me show this layer. This is the path. The path of the flaming sword. So the yellow line, starting at point one to two. This is the path you took along the, well, in Kabbalistic theory, religion. What is that? I don't even know what all of it is yet. I just know that this is the true, the, based on the tree of Sephiroth, Sephiroth. Each of these is a Sephiroth. Each of them is a path to godly living, understanding, mm-hmm. getting closer to God. Enlightenment, closer. yep. All of that. All the good yeah. stuff. Essentially, I guess you start at your, 
your head or crown, you gain wisdom, then you gain understanding, you gain mercy, you give mercy. I don't get severity. Maybe you understand the severity of things, perhaps. And me? Do you understand the beauty of life, perhaps? Do you understand that victory is glory? Glory leads to foundation. Foundation leads to the kingdom. That's just me spelling. Makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense to me. It does. I just kind of spelled it out for myself, I think. Good job. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cool. Thanks. Uh, yeah. So you saw it. So I believe that's where this next episode is. So Billy actually keeps his dump truck parked over here. I don't know if you know that or not. Uh, you got to park it somewhere. That's his dump truck. And look at this. This is. I believe this is all firewood, man. These are all trees that have been cut down. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I mean, every once in a while, I look at look at it on Google Maps, mm -hmm. and I'm like, that's a bunch of like wood stack there. In yeah. like various locations. I mean, I know you still got um, um, Dave Blankenship still living there. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, this is well over here, though. Over and here. and Nolan, I believe, uses it as a summer house. Nolan lives Tom here. Tommy Nolan, yeah. yeah. And I don't really know what this is. This is this is another structure there on Oak Island, but they never talk about it. I don't know what it is, but it's a, it's a building. Where is it? Does it go right I, by the road? It's this little blue blue square just to the right of the road. Is that I the new up. that the new war room that they built away from the interpretive no. center, maybe, or is that new somewhere war, else? New war rooms right here. So. Oh, okay. I should have known. You would have known. The old the old war room used to be here at Dave Blankenship's house. Right, and the then the room. then the next one though was by the. Interpretive Center or something right at the end of the causeway, wasn't it? Uh, so this is the Interpretive Center. Yeah, wasn't the well, war room built like right around there, like at the at yeah, this, the this right at the causeway? I thought. Which center? Oh, maybe this is the research center. <clears throat> I think this is the war room currently, right here. Yes, yes, they did build it away because of all the people when the when it was open during the summers. Yeah. Because they still had to do work. They still had to do a show. And so, yeah. They didn't want the war room to be right there. And, you know, people are not... Staring in the windows. <laughs> right, right. Where's the lead cross? Right. Let me see. Right. I want to see the, I want to see the Spanish shears. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, yeah. So, uh, so I, don't know, I don't know who lives there. I don't know what that building is. Maybe it's just a shed for Nolan. I don't know. Maybe something. But. Um... He has another shed. How far here. is it from his, uh, from his house? property? Yeah. Now, the, now, the guy that that works for the History Five, Channel, he has one lot there. I think, doesn't he have lot one? So that would be in the upper left. That's over and here. so that's, yeah. not, that's not it then. Here, I'll do this for us. Yeah, it might just be an older building from, who knows. So a lot of ones here. Yeah. So that would be one, two, three. I think that's the one he owns. That's ten, lot ten. And that makes Nolan eleven, twelve, and thirteen. I think so. Okay. I don't. I don't know that. Probably need to note that somewhere. Uh. What else? What else? What else? So oh, here's the freshwater well by the freshwater pond, which we never really. Lot twenty six. Um, yes, 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 yes. The one that doesn't freeze when everything else freezes. Yeah. And has high silver content. And has high silver content. Yes. And and we haven't revisited that. No, we've never been back there. That's a good. That's a good uh, topic, and we don't have to exhaust it for today. But it's like stuff where they just went away from, and it seems like they dropped the ball on. Yeah, like they just gave up on certain areas. Right. You know? Or they didn't. Or they never explained it. Like uh, Gary's non-ferrous metal hits in the garden shaft at the end of one season, and then yeah, and they then go? they didn't mention it again. Right. 
right? Where'd they go? Somebody had a dang gold coin in their pocket while they were down there in that money pit garden shop while he was metal detecting them. I don't know. He had the he had the coil all the way in the water, and so yeah. I don't know, far away from people's pockets. So, so I don't know. I mean, maybe it did turn out to be nothing, and there's there's a good explanation, but they just didn't tell us. Where's the rest of the tunnel? Yeah. Well. That was running under the garden. Uh, well, it had water in it. Apparently, it had water in it. Seven planks of wood. And I told y'all how disappointed I was going to be when they found out that was the only pieces of wood that were right there. You did say this. You did say I, that. You yeah, did I say mean, that. I real quiet the next week, man. I was like, I am so, so but crazy. right, right. And I so the like the roller coaster of emotions. Right. The thought on that is maybe it's kind of a they just dug out the tunnel and they didn't fortify it. And they just needed boards to roll something on or to drag something on on the floor. So that's that's what they're thinking is the reason behind that. I think that. that brings us back to where we were. Yellow is the tunnel, proposed tunnel, mm -hmm. right? Well, you were asking, is it a tunnel? So I don't know that it's a tunnel, to be honest with you. I almost feel like this blue line, like we were talking about, could be the original flood tunnels. Yeah. And what we're finding are... Areas that were reinforced within the caverns defined by the solution channel. Right. Right. So the green dash line is the 150 foot level of solution channel. Well, I think it runs 150 to 160. I believe is right. I think that I think everybody that would watch something called Oak Island Deep Dives probably is aware of this. But just in case, the reason they are pretty sure there's a tunnel there other than you know seismic or anything like that is because they drilled in several points along the way and they hit voids at approximately the same levels and so you have those there right you have those they, they found and, a seven foot long piece of right, wood at a yes foot depth that and that does not occur long. naturally like that and I mean, if you look at my alignment of that tunnel and you look at where it was, look at that hole. It's clipping the edge of mm -hmm. the tunnel. They, mm -hmm. drill in the, they drilled into the side of the tunnel. So, and I don't have the curly cues. I don't have his geoscope. So I can't right, that's it. fine. That's fine. Well, drills, but when you're I, forgiven when I, for that. You're forgiven. I meet him and he and I become best friends. Then you can borrow it. I will borrow it. Please. Excellent. So, yeah. Excellent. So, but they did. They checked on both sides of the garden shaft uh, for it, and they hit multiple, yeah, multiple on both sides that uh, have voids in it at the, approximately the same level. And if anybody has a list of all of the boreholes that they found wood in, and at what depth? So Pre pretty much all of them, or at least all the ones they showed on the show. Well, so I started going back though, and see the little brown dot in there yeah oh that means wood yeah, they, right yeah they they wood right yep so i started doing that at color coding it yeah it here. in fact even here i said 178 feet they found mm -hmm. wood 195 99 they found pvc 151 they found wood 171 they found bedrock so, so many boreholes t1 i don't I don't, don't remember what they found which in boreholes that. they found wood in and in what depth and wants to share that with me please contact right me. anybody got that anybody got that written down other than <laughs> right. that might be on a computer in the lab maybe on, there's a out there somewhere that has that data written down you think so there is a dealer hmm. somewhere that it has might that be written. yeah sorry no bananas for reference so, yeah, you can send that to coachdeepmoney at gmail.com if you do have that, and I will pass that on to my friend Zig. All right, Steve, I don't know, man. What, time, what, what are we looking at on time, dude? Uh, about an hour. Oh, okay. Wow. About an hour. If you, if you don't have anything, I, can, I have some other stuff that we can talk about. Time flies when you're having fun. Indeed. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so I'm we were saying about the about the drop balls where they didn't explain Gary's non ferris hits at the end of the season, the one at the end of season ten and at the beginning of season eleven, no mention of that. Yeah, and then no they problem. then they go down further, Dumas construction expands it down further than that point and again no mention of that. So yeah, and not even like pointing out well this is where it was and this is what it ended up being, even if it didn't 
explanation would have been great, but they don't have to do that. Um, yeah, they see. don't owe us anything. I mean, like they're building the show. They, they don't have to right. show other than right. Right, and work. and I was thinking too about uh, you know wait they didn't check the other um, separate points. Oh yeah, yeah. Because. Um, it was they were all on Nolan's property except the two that they checked. Um, could they check. They could check these two: glory, and severity, victory. Have they checked? Those? Yeah, I don't think they ever. Um, I don't know that they've ever. I don't think those. they. I don't think they did. I think they. Yeah. They looked at Mercy because Mercy's in the swamp. Yeah. Um, this, this beauty location. And I say this beauty location because this is John Edwards. Slightly beauty. off. Of what you had? Well, I just, I, I don't, okay, from all the references that I've found of the Tree of Sephiroth and of the Kabbalistic and the Kabbalah, they all show beauty and foundation in white where I have them right here. So why? Okay, and I green is that? Edwards. And I asked this question of Jeff, mm -hmm. why did John Edwards choose these two locations? And I think he's supposed to ask him, but whether he can tell me or not is all. Right, right. right. That, yeah, you never know. You never know what they can't say. Again, I like all theories, so I wanted to show what I believe to be the truth of the cob, the tree of Sephiroth and also mm -hmm. show John Edwards' relationship because every other place that he has, including Daph, which why is Daph going on? Oh, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. not really different there, but anyways, uh, we agree on Daph. Right. So, so, what's, so what would Coney be for Edwards then? Do you suppose? Coney would be Coney. Oh, just Coney and not yeah, part Coney of the Tree of Life? Coney is Coney, but to me, Coney is Coney and Foundation. Yeah. To John Edwards, Coney is Coney and this green area here. Gotcha. Is okay. And, that's and that, Coney. again, so how many feet? Are, these are 144 between each of these. Oh, that's right. It's a bigger scale. It goes so, back to the 72. Yeah. Rule, right. right. The rule of 72. Yeah, so if I Absolutely. offset the, the short axis of the cross, 144, it would fall at CA, it would fall at DAF, it would fall at Beauty, it would fall at CD, it would fall at his foundation, it would fall at CE. And interestingly enough, there's no point between CE and the Kingdom Stone. I think you and I talked about this too, is, well, if you got all these other locations, maybe the best place to put it would be where there's nothing, right? Oh, I see. Like right in the center of those two. Yeah, right there in the center. And coincidentally enough, that's where dot to dot says the vault entrance is. So, well, he's based on other things other than just yeah, this. Yeah. He has his own. He has his own reasonings and his own theories and his own maps that he's using. So. And well, that's even better if there's a different reason yeah, yeah. for it and it's the same spot. Absolutely. Right. Right. I, I don't want to copy. What I've done is I've located exactly where he's showing his things, mm -hmm. but I'm also showing what I've found in other locations. So, okay. again, this is a compilation of all the information. Right. So that is his. You, you. I forget. I forget his real name. Sorry about that, sir. Uh, and it, his channel is called Dot to Dot. Dot to Dot. Yeah. And Check his all of his videos involve all this, all this stuff, and like basically oh, yeah, new stuff that that he's figured out. In the beginning, he was one of my number one resources, but I, he and I have differed on a couple things, so mm -hmm. I, I kind of said, well, I'm going to still... Cage him. match. Cage match, then. Yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah. No, I still respect everything he's doing, and I've, 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 I even wrote him and told him, I said, I mean, cool. you, you, led, you led the path for what I'm trying to do, mm -hmm. so thank you for that. Uh, he didn't ever write me back, of course. But, of course. How dare he? How dare he? Some people don't like to communicate. Right. So Some too much. Yeah, but it's just it's just yeah, I wonder I mean that would have been like the first thing I would have thought they would have done. I think Fred Nolan might have wanted to drill whatever hole they drilled next that didn't end up being anything, but so they may have just deferred to him on it. Or maybe they didn't uh, they I mean they hadn't gotten, you know, all the Edwards research yet back right. then when that happened and so maybe they didn't think it was that important to do but i would have certainly it wouldn't take long to check all of those points to see if there's a rock there no i mean yeah. send jack out, send jack out with a shovel jack no he would go he would go 
and Steve could go out and do that in a couple of hours, I bet. Yeah. Sure could. So I don't I don't know why they haven't And they may have they may have done it too. And we just didn't see. They don't tell us everything. That's right. That's correct. We don't have non disclosure agreements. <laughs> That's correct. We'll gladly sign one though if you. There's a me. reason, right? Doesn't well. There's a reason we don't have it because we don't well, know if anything. You want to on some things. I'll be happy. We're just do. guessing. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're. So anything you can think of about uh, uh, <clears throat> like other stuff that they just like left hanging in there? They just like it was important enough to be on the show and then yeah. just drop oh, like the, a hot potato. The lot three, the hatch. We're not looking for the hmm. hatch anymore. They found lot five stuff and they just said oh forget about the hatch and forget about yeah. the valve yeah. so those are two things they've never really come back right and what's before. there's a, like a there's like a bald spot like probably to the a little to the left of uh, can you zoom in yeah zoom in on the tree of life on the tree I'm sorry yeah no. right there um, a little bit to the left I think maybe a little bit more south of that as well of glory Okay. Somewhere on there, there's a like a kind of like a bald spot. To, I don't think it's the bald spot that they talked about before, but you can oh, see it on the map. This is the bald spot up here, upper right corner. Up here. Right, but there on the on the map, there's a yeah, and I'm pointing now too. Look, it, it's catching. <laughs> um, right. Um, no, it's to the to the west of the glory. glory. And like probably south, okay, so but it's somewhere. Yeah, it's somewhere down there. I don't know if there's a road going to it or not, but there's like a ball. I think there's a road going to it. It might be right going right through that road, and it's just like an area where it looks like it's been cleared out. And it's been that way, I think, forever. And so, I think somebody had said there might be something there. So, not checking that out. And I don't think that was on lot five because that would be a good reason for not checking it out because they couldn't. Yeah. Well, and they found that copper item on lot eight. Mm -hmm. and they've never really gone back to lot eight and done anything else. Right. Do you have a... You don't have a Google Maps of it, do you? Yeah, I do. I'm looking for the, I'm looking for the right one. Just oh, okay. Yeah, you can Just to see, see where where that was, because that was like, and somebody thought there was something going on there. Uh, uh, that's a bunch of them. Yeah, so there's Glory. Yeah, I did turn on a whole bunch of them, but this one is one that has the latitudinal lines on it. I can't remember which one it was. Maybe it's the one over by Kingdom, Here. maybe there's above one. Kingdom. Well, that's where Gerhardt parks his truck and where all that wood is. Set. Is that it? Yeah. Maybe, and there's nothing, there's nothing, nothing like that between that and the swamp. Okay, that's probably what I'm thinking about then. Uh, is that area? Because that's that's been like that forever. Of course, I uh, you know who. Anybody well, farming yeah. could have cleared that out. Any searcher could have cleared that out. How cleared out it looked when they were looking at CE, right? When they were looking at Coney for the next preview. Mm -hmm. Well, they would have, look how clear it is right here already. I mean, if that's the road, and I think I told you I thought they were looking yeah. back this way. It looked like everything, granted we didn't see behind the camera, but it looked like everything in front of the camera had been, Sit like, out, right? nuked. <laughs> yeah. yeah out or nuked, but everything in this photo looks pretty brown in that area, too. Wow. So. Oh. All right, that's just something, something I thought. Any, anything uh, uh, jump out to you other than those things about stuff that were that you're just like, why didn't they, why didn't they finish up with that, or why didn't they revisit that? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure if I thought about it harder, I could, but okay, not, if, not maybe you'll think of it and you can have it for next time. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's plenty of things that they've gone looking for and then gave up on. Well, just like we're not looking for the Mercy Stone anymore, are we? I don't. I don't. On, on the beauty and and right. Beauty. I don't think so. I mean, you would think, especially since it's uh, it was uh, drained. Yeah. Right, Why not right. check for it while it was drained? And again, they may have done that. They just didn't show it. 
Well, I mean, if they don't find they anything, they there's really no need to show it. Right, right. So who knows? Yeah. You know, just like... Thanks. Again, I feel like this whole area is nothing but paved area. Oh, right, right. And going up even past, yeah. yeah. It, 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 and it almost feels like, like, you know, when you look at certain lines, like this line going across here for the mm -hmm. tree... It feels like a delineation, right? Because I mean, that yeah. almost feels like that's where the stone paving starts. And if it runs all the way up here to Beauty, holy cow, that's a lot of paving. A lot of rocks yeah. for yeah. one thing. Indeed. The place for drainage, right? Yeah. So, man, they either knew what they were doing or they were building a huge parking lot. Right. And I don't, and don't think they needed a huge parking lot like that. May have, I don't know. Mayhem? Mayhem like me? No, may have. No, no, I never heard. Sorry. I said, okay, all right. Just, That's okay. Just like I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on your... You're making me hungry. Right. I didn't mean okay, to... So... I didn't mean to step on your joke. Sorry about that. You're okay. I didn't mean to step on yours either. All righty. Okay. Hey, I, don't know I, I don't know if I have any more, man. I think... All um, right. I'm, I'm sure more stuff will come up later. But. Right. Yeah. Just if you if you happen to think about it, maybe maybe jot it down, so you remember, and you can bring it up on next well, time. To, yeah. Well, we're hoping to do these like one every week, but yes. maybe one every other week or so. But yes. I think if we can find a topic that we can dive deep enough into. We will definitely sure we jump on this one. But this was also kind of an introduction for us to screen sharing and all that other good stuff we're learning too. So. Right, right. That's right. On the on the first one, what did we have to do? I had to. Uh, what was I? How do we do it differently? There, you couldn't control it. You couldn't control we your screen, drawing. right? We weren't even looking at my drawing. We were looking at screenshots of it. And, oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. You know, I had, what, what I sent you sixteen screenshots. Or something yeah, like that's that. right. That's right. And yeah. that was why. And so this obviously works way better. Oh, this is so much better. You can control it and yeah, so that. Yeah, good. absolutely. And the detail is so much finer, too, because I can actually zoom, zoom, zoom. Yes. Really, I think that's fantastic. So. All righty. So I think that'll do it for Deep Dives. Curse of Oak Island Deep Dives number two. And uh, thank you so much for uh, subscribing, watching, liking, and commenting. Do all the things. And for my pal Zig and I, we're out. Siempre avante. Siempre avante.